Hello, I'm Saukki. One of my viewers asked me about how to make Velomobile more safe on the road. So let's look into that. In this video I'm going to talk about my opinions about Velomobile safety and show you what kind of safety features I have on my quest and then maybe give you some tips. And then I also have a few guests on this video talking about their opinions about Velomobile safety. So let's get on with it. I think that you can basically divide the safety thing into two main categories, handling and visibility. And the visibility can be divided into how I see and how others see me. But let's start with the handling. By the way, if you were wondering where you can get these nice t-shirts, check out my web shop, the link is in the description. Okay, handling. So you should make sure that you always have full control of your Velomobile. So make sure that your, your steering is working properly. There sometimes there may be some play in the joints like here with the steering column you sometimes have to tighten the bolts and here at the end of these steering rods there's these joints sometimes they may have some play and then you just have to replace them and then make sure that your brakes are working properly and do the proper adjustments and make sure that both sides are similar so that the velomobile doesn't stare when you brake and then also do the basic maintenance so you can concentrate on riding and not wondering what's wrong with the velomobile it's very important that you can see all around you when riding with velomobile so that's why you need good mirrors and at least with Quests and Strada and other models from velomobile.nl Those have one mirror as standard But I got second one because I think well of course it's more safe because you can see both sides But I think that it also looks much better when you have two mirrors because it's symmetrical Also if you live in some dark place like I do You need good headlights Of course it's not dark during the summer because the sun is not going to set at all but during spring and fall it gets pretty dark so you need good headlights with the quest it has one headlight as a standard but again i got a second one because i think that i need more light and then i always ride with my headlights on so everybody can see me better this is the standard tail light of the quest uh, it's quite small but uh, you can see it quite far when it's dark and then there's also these indicator lights and brake lights. And then this big red piece here at the rear end, it's reflective material, so it's, it's quite big reflector and you can see it quite far away. Okay, as you probably already realized, we are now talking about things that helps other people to see us. And the most obvious thing about how to make your Velomobile more visible is of course the color. I chose this color because I think that this is the most visible color in almost any kind of conditions because there are not so many orange this big things in the Finnish nature so so I think that this color really pops out on the road so that's something you should consider when buying a new Velomobile and then other thing to improve the visibility is the reflectors uh, there are few reflectors that are standard with quest like these and and these and and these but then I decided to buy some extra reflectors, so these lines here, these are optional because half of the year there is very dark, so I think these are very good. Then you can of course mount some extra lights. I have this kind of small light, it's very small, it's not very effective, but you can see this when it's dark. This gives you some extra visibility. Let's talk about flags. Because I think that's the thing I get most comments about when riding my Velomobile around. Because when people see this Velomobile and they see that it's very low, so they think that it's very dangerous. And they usually ask me that why I don't use a flag. Well, I don't use the flag because it's ruining the aerodynamics and I want to go fast. So that's why I don't use a flag. But then there's also a few other reasons because I think that the flags are mostly visible from the side and not so much from behind because I usually ride here on these small country roads I think that the flag is quite useless because I think that people can see this Velomobile with this very visible color much more earlier than they realize that there's also a flag so that's one of the reasons but in city traffic the flag may be a good thing because the Velomobile is so low you can't see it behind the cars but you can see the flag which is quite high but there's another problem because I think the 
Best place to mount the flag is here at the rear part. So if the flag is here, it means that it's three meters behind the nose and that might be confusing. But I know that some people use flags. And now let's ask one of them, Manix Moiman, who lives in New Zealand and rides a DF Velomobile with a flag. Let's ask what he thinks about flag and also if he has any other safety features. Let's see. Thanks, Selkie. Hi, everyone. For me, riding a Velomobile was a lot of fun. The speed I can get up to is just a bonus. I bought my DFXL mostly because I could ride it in the rain and stay dry. But as Salki has just mentioned, I ride with a flag that improves visibility and safety. I'll show you what I mean. I tend to have to share the road with many different kinds of vehicles. In this picture you can see how low to the ground my DFXL sits. And even though that improves aerodynamics, it also makes me a little bit less visible to other road users. By having my flag and my flashing LED lights are more noticeable to other road users which enables them to drive or ride defensively to avoid any incident. Let me give you some examples. If I stop behind a car and the car wants to reverse, they can now see me. But if they don't see me, my next defense is to honk my horn and yell. If I'm approaching an intersection, my flag is often the only thing that traffic to my right can see. A flag is also good for letting the vehicles behind me see the effect that the wind has on my velomobile, warning them to be more careful when passing. And vehicles in front wanting to turn onto the road can better estimate the kind of speed that I'm going. Most drivers in New Zealand are unaware of how fast a velomobile can go. I have mounted my flag in a forward direction. That means that when I'm riding slow or when I come to a stop, the flag is positioned very close to my head. And when I'm going fast, I can go very fast without the flag stick coming out of its mount due to the high drag. Speaking of drag, I agree with you, Salki. That is a downside to the flag. But even with a flag, I still enjoy riding down hills at tremendous speeds and averaging about 40 kilometers per hour on most of my rides. I would recommend one for anyone riding a fast velomobile on public roads. Other safety features that I use uh, are a pair of glasses uh, or a windshield. These protect me from small debris hitting my face uh, when I'm riding very fast. And of course my bicycle helmet. Thanks Salki for inviting me to chat on your channel. I hope it was useful. Thanks for your opinions Marnix. And he also has a YouTube channel with his own name. He makes very informative velomobile videos. Go check them out. Earlier I mentioned city traffic. Actually I don't have much experience about city traffic. I think that my only experience is that once I had to stop the traffic lights. But riding in big city it's completely different thing than riding here in countryside. So, so let's ask a few safety tips from John Williams who rides a velomobile in London. So I think that he has quite a lot of experience about riding in big city. Let's see. Hi, John Williams here from VeloAds. Um, I'd like to go over a few, a few things that I think can increase your safety in a velomobile um, whilst riding around in a big city as I do in London. Um, number one I think is um, one of the most important of all is uh, the colour the colour of the velomobile, so go for a super bright colour, um, a yellow, which isn't my favourite colour, a yellow, a white, red or a combination of bright colours such as um, yellow and blue, um, bright green, yeah, something really garish. And then um, that should make the velomobile stand out a lot more in traffic. Uh, number two, another really important one is uh, lighting. You've got to light that baby up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, I upgraded all the LED lights on uh, my Quest and on the WoW. So I've got the near pretty much the most powerful um, indicator lights you can get and brake lights and rear running lights. A super bright, a lot brighter than standard, which I think is necessary. Um, 
especially if you're riding around in London and it, it basically cars can't miss it. Um, and if you're riding in traffic, another really important thing is try and ride your Velomobile as if you're driving a car. So sit behind the car in front. Uh, if the car stops uh, behind another four or five cars at the traffic lights, just wait behind them and wait for the lights to change and then roll off. You'll keep up with them and you don't really need to be whizzing up the inside or the outside or creeping down uh, to get to the front of, uh, of the queue at the traffic lights. It's just not worth it. And um, yeah, so ride your Velomobile as if you're in a car and do as the cars do. And um, that should be fine. Um, try and make contact uh, eye contact with car drivers I think that's quite important as well and then you know that they've seen you if you want to pull out of a junction or you want to turn right or left and there's a car coming the other way if you make eye contact with the driver that helps a lot and you definitely know that they've seen you and um, a Velomobile stands out like a, th a sore thumb so um, I wouldn't really worry about not being seen um, uh, when I had my accident recently uh, I was riding along a road and there were a lot of parked cars and then in between the parked cars there was a small gap for a car park and um, that's when uh, the car came straight out of there and he just couldn't see the Velomobile. I think if I was driving a van or a, a truck he would have seen that obviously but because I was quite low down maybe in that instance uh, a flag may have helped but I don't really think he would have noticed a flag either so it was just one of those things the fickle finger of fate as they say and um, the most important thing of all is just have fun <laughs> you know it's great riding around in a Velomobile in London absolutely fantastic I love it uh, it's just as good as riding in the countryside um, and don't knock it till you've tried it it's really cool and uh, yeah that's it thanks guys thanks for listening take care and enjoy your Velomobiles over and out Thanks John, that was very helpful and now I think we got very good tips about riding in the big city. And go check out also John's YouTube channel, it's called Velo Ads. And he's making also very good videos about riding Velomobile, of course, in London. But I think that's all for today and don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscription button below the video. And also check out my social media channels. The links are also in description. Okay, so thanks for watching and see you on the next video. Bye bye.